and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some mono black knights in standard. Um, as y'all know, knights are the, one of the tribes that are really pushed in Throne of Eldraine, and we've seen different flavors. We've seen like Orzov and Mardu and Boros, um, and even Golgari knights are becoming kind of popular as well. I'm kind of taking like that same kind of Golgari knight deck and just uh, streamlining it to just to be mono black. So we don't have we don't have to worry about our mana base or anything like that. We're just going with mono black knights here. We have um, you know one part of our deck are the adventure creatures. So we have Foulmire Knight, Order of Midnight, Smitten Swordmaster, and Murderous Riders. We have four adventure creatures in here, and so each one of those adventure creatures are you know perfectly fine on their own. They're definitely reasonable cards, and some some of them better than others. And you know, like Murderous Rider is still a really good removal spell. But we have the four Lucky Clovers that can really turn on these adventure spells and really make them powerful, especially Smitten Swordmaster. That's kind of the the really the big payoff of playing Lucky Clover is getting this Curry favor, um, being able to do that uh, ability multiple times. Of course, for that, we want a lot of knights in play. And so you can see besides the Lucky Clovers, we have basically all knights. Um, all we have are two removal spells and then the four Icon of Ancestry. This is a card that I think is actually just pretty underrated right now. I like this in these knight decks, um, you know, get, making them larger, making your attacks better, but then also giving you a better late game, being able to, to uh, find some more creatures. So between Icon of Ancestry and Lucky Clover with these adventures, we have a really good good late game for a deck that's only one twos and threes and so that's pretty special when you get to play a deck filled with one twos and threes and have a good late game still um so i'm, I'm excited to, to try this deck out i'm also going to be playing three cryptic caves so if we do flood out uh we can you know sacrifice the cryptic caves and just draw an extra card it's a really nice ability for a land to have uh, so i like i like that and of course we have the castles that can draw us more cards as well. But maybe we just have extra cards in hand and we don't want to you know, activate the castle and, and uh, lose life and everything. So we can just sack a Cryptic Caves for extra cards there. Um, only going 22 land with this low curve. I'm a tad bit worried. Y'all know me. I always like playing a little, you know, like an extra land maybe than, than necessary because I, I like hitting land drops. Um, so I, I kind of, I wanted to play 23 in this deck. And that was like the last card that I caught was the 23rd land. So we'll see how that works. Another thing that I'm going to try here is, um, I know the other day somebody in chat asked about Drill Bit, you know, if it's better than Duress. And I was like, no, Drill Duress is probably better. But I've, I've really been thinking about it because, you know, like I, I um, you know, like whenever, like, you know, thinking about new information and everything, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to just be, you know, always say Duress is definitely better. You know, it's, Magic's always kind of a changing game, and like the more you learn, you know, uh, the more you know you may change uh, what cards you want to play. And I think I want to play Drill Bit instead of Duress because um, the like kind of like the the bigger mana decks that you want to um, take a look at their hand, they're playing a lot of creatures. Like with especially with like these adventure creatures, like the adventure giant. Um, against Golas Field of the Dead. Like, they have the Adventure Giant as a sweeper. Like, so their sweeper is a creature. Um, you know, like one of their ramp spells with the the green ramp spell is a creature. And, of course, Golos and Krasis are really uh, important cards to hit. Same with Agent of Treachery, another really important card to hit. So that a lot of key cards are creatures that you want to hit. Uh, even Simic Flash. Simic Flash is just playing tons and tons of creatures and not actually that many spells. And so you usually would be like, all right, well, I want these Duresses in against the Flash deck. To take their counter magic but their counter magic is uh frilled mystic a creature their bounce spell is brazen buccaneer a creature um you know their most impactful card is night pack ambush or a creature and so i really want drill bit against simic flash more than duress and so that's that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try drill bits they're not always turned on uh sometimes you have to play them for three mana and um and uh so we'll see uh <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. You know, I want to try it out. I haven't really tried out drill bits in this format, but on paper, it sounds like a pretty good card there. <laughs> it's Brazen Borrower. Dang. I never say that correctly. I always say Buccaneer. Buccaneer is way more fun to say than Borrower. Anyway, I think that our deck is going to be pretty pretty powerful. 
And so I'm going to just go ahead and try it immediately in ranked. Uh, this, this definitely feels like a ranked deck to me. So we're, we're going to just go ahead and, and um, try this deck in ranked. So we're going to play a few matches here and see how we do. <laughs> I'll never learn that name. How about Banner? Like Vanquisher's Banner? Rotate it out. Is that the banner that you mean? Is there a different banner? Heraldic banner? Artifact is it as it ETBs, choose a color. Creatures you control of the chosen color get plus one plus zero, and you can also tap and add one mana. So yeah, so that that card. Um, so it also, so it pumps the power, not toughness like this does, and it can just add a mana, but I, I, I definitely prefer having the, um, <clears throat> the late game with Icon of Ancestry. All right, well, our opponent is being pretty aggressive here. We're going to need to play this knight on defense. It could be better to trade with Preserver over Giant. No, it's probably better to trade with Giant for now and then try to have the other one trade with Preserver. This is my fourth time, fourth game in a row to play against Gruul. I guess this Gruul Embercleave deck is pretty popular right now. I guess it's pretty popular right now. They got me. So Noxious Grasp doesn't really kill the giant. Ember Cleave's definitely scary. I'm going to cut one icon, the Legion's Ends, and get three Noxious Grasp in here. Yeah, the Forge deck did awesome. It played really well, too. Do we have enough artifact enchantment targets? Think about natural effects in the side. I think so. Yeah, I think I think natural effects naturalized effects are playable right now. How does our 22 land deck have six lands in the opener? How is that? thing so yeah I, I think artifact I think there's like naturalized effects are in a decent spot right now at least we don't have to worry about Robber the Rich. Hey QQ, welcome back. We got stomped pretty hard the first game.
Trigger's Knight of the Evan Legion. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> Obviously, Questing Beast and Ember Cleave is something that I don't really know how I'm dealing with. And I guess Knight can just block it. Oh no, it can't. Knight cannot block this. Because as I forgot about the death touch with that. Knight cannot block this. Yep. Good hand. Very good curve. You know, Bone Crusher on two, Spellbreaker on three, Questing Beast on four, Ember Cleave on five, Hellkite on six. It's pretty good. GG's. Yeah. They had pretty good draws those games. Is there any playable, free-to-play, friendly decks without a ton of rares cards on the list? I I have not made any any budget decks. Um, that's something that I, I've talked about before. I, I do plan on on d making budget decks. I just haven't gotten to that yet. Um, maybe now that we we're starting to have a little bit more of a a meta game, it's starting to fold. That like maybe I can find some some budget decks that are playable to. Uh, to kind of fight through there. Yeah. Yeah, Magic's always been a very expensive game. Being free to play is tough. Like, to be fair, though, like, being free to play in Magic has never been an option before. Arena is the only place, like, where that's ever been even possible. It's always been an expensive game. Okay, if if y'all have if y'all have any budget list that you recommend you recommend, um, feel free to uh, post you know post them in the chat if you have a link to a a friendly budget list that I can save and keep in mind for later. Didn't say please. That is true. I did not. Just kind of planning on activating Knight, I think, here. I think I'm just going to activate Knight. Milled over lots of spells, which is kind of good. Like, imagine us drawing all of these cards and only having... I guess we would, we would have had six lands, so yeah, it would have been fine. Mm. 
Mono Black Burn. Hey, Enigma, it's going good. Um, we're playing some Mono Black Knights. So Midnight Reaper will... We'll just... <clears throat> okay. We'll trade with two cards. They... I think they could have... They could have made it just trade with one card. If they would have double blocked with Apprentices. No, no command of the Dreadhorde with this list. There's nothing that costs more than three mana in the deck. Three's the top end. So I guess I could go for lethal by murderous riding this apprentice. Good chance they have a counter spell though, right? They're they're just not doing anything else. They didn't play lands before. Kind of a good chance they they would have had a counter spell. Hmm. Or not. No, I don't think that Field of the Dead or Golos will be banned in best of one. No, I don't think so. Mono black versus mono blue. Ugh. That strategy kind of blew up into our opponent's face. Or blew up in our opponent's face. There we go. That's how that said. So I don't really think I need the Legion's Ends. I want the one duress. This is kind of a matchup I'd r rather have. I don't know. From things that we've seen, I feel like I would rather have more duresses than drill bits. Like, I don't even know if I want to play extra drill bits. Like, I guess I, I could play, like, the one Ashiok. So, like, I have to play one of these cards. I'm going to play these 59. we got to play one of these. Um, obviously, we're not playing Noxious Grasp. And I don't think drill bit really does very much here. So, it's either Legion's End or Ashiok. I think I'm just going to take the Ashiok. No, I'll play one Legion's End. You know, they had, like, those cheap creatures and stuff. We'll just play Legion's End. Two pair and three of a kind? Oh, no, not three of a kind. Just three pairs with this Swordmaster Kicker. was a perfect hand. <laughs> this is a Hearthstone hand. Man, my opponent is venturing deeper. That's for sure. So am I going to... Oh, they're blue-black. It's kind of thinking if we're going to <clears throat> swift end to Secret Keepers. They could have like the Teferi Time Twist. Or do they just have a Bounce Spell? Right, or removal.
All right, we're gonna return. Foulmire Knight. And Knight of the Ebon Legion. And Black Lance Paragon. All right, so they got to draw, they just played a draw four, we played a draw three. But our Order of Midnight didn't really leave, so it was kind of like a draw four for us. How do counters work for copied spells? So like, yeah, they need to counter each instance. Yep. Each instance is its own, is its own thing. New cards. See if we get some more land drops. No land drops. I have so much card draw in my hand. But can we can we finish off our opponent in time before we die? That's kind of the question here. I, I need more lands. I want to draw a land and be able to have this Paragon up. That's what I want. Yay. Assuming my opponent's going to be traveling into the story. So hopefully they don't counter this. Nope. You saw it, right? Enigma is right above you. Right above that message. Down to 17. Get these things out of here. Do we have any of the curry cards? Get back with the Order of Midnight. There's one, two, Smitten Sword Masters, that is. There's two in here. <laughs> 
Ooh. What you got? All right, there's another smitten sword master. Down to 12 cards. Rain time. So we get to, this is draining for uh, not only two, so two, four, six. Another six. And another six. Draining for 18. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, poor opponent. I just I got to finally attack one time, and de you know deal damage one time with the attack, and then drain for 18. If if they would have killed my two three first, I guess yeah they still would have taken lethal. Death by Clover. That was a pretty lucky way for us to win. Go, Knight, go. Once upon a time. It's just like a perfect card name. They did really well with the set. With all the flavor in the set, like all the... Not even worried about Black Lance Paragon. Be lucky, I don't, I don't got it. This is kind of the problem with Lucky Clover, is they, they can look kind of bad if you got nothing else. Land! Yay! Huh. <laughs> yeah, all questing beasts needed was some flavor text to be loved. But yeah, too much rules text. They needed to get rid of some of the rules text they could so if Questing Beast could have some flavor text. Your corpse will make a nice souvenir. Destroy the clover. Clover. Oh, Darn. Arvika, don't be surprised if we meet again. Day 
your lucky day. Well, hopefully we find another knight. Makes this smitten sword master a little better. Alright, so they really are a soul tie deck. They weren't just blue green splash Vraska. Just hoping to cast Vraska off Gilded Goose and Paradise Druid. Hey LB. Reading through some cards, mousing over some stuff. Casualties of war? Well, that's brutal. Hey, there you go. Thanks for the, the sub, also, LB. At sub number 18. All right, Guru, have a good night. So two away from our next sub goal. Looks like my opponent is bragging about how big they can make a Hydroid Crisis. With the castle. Hey, <laughs> Samurai. Thank you. Uh, so this drains for four. Using my mana is kind of nice, though, whenever we have a card like Icon of Ancestry. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Bleh. Surely you see the humor here. No. Oko, I do not see the humor here. <laughs> there you go. You got the, the cool badge, yeah. In case my Knight of the Ebon Legion gets killed if they, you know, block with Hydro Crisis or something. Play the land. And Bird. Resound Twitch Prime. Thank you, Bird. Reselling them for 26 awesome months. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So that's number 19. Just one away now. All right, the goose is gone. But beating this Oko is going to be pretty tough. Beating this Oko is going to be pretty tough. And same with the crisis. I mean, if we we draw removal for crisis, attack in with a bunch of other three threes. Hey, impossible. This is where we would need icon to help get us through, get us more cards. But Oko turning icon into a three three is not ideal at all. Ah. 
One by Almost there, and Matthew. All your cares are gone. What's who's worse to fairy or Oko? I guess it kinda depends on what you're playing. If you're playing creatures, Oko is definitely worse. If you're trying to play creatures and artifacts. Game's pretty lost. Murderous Rider would be nice. Hmm. Not a Murderous Rider. But we got Legion's End to take out that Krasis. Got to exile another crisis. Yeah, murderous rider would you know swift end both of these things. That'd be nice. <laughs> he just you just one shot your opponent with a curry sword master, a smitten sword master, and all four clovers on the field. There you go. Ugh. Anissa now too. There's too much stuff. To change your ways. That's Estian, that's awesome. Your first your first uh, best of one event, you got to 5 wins. That's really good. Good job. I never I never had a cap gun. Actually, Never been a, a gun person. See, so yeah, I never really had like cap guns or nerf guns or anything like that. Growing up. Dante! Got us to our 20 sub goal there. Thank you so much there, Dante. So 20 out of 30. I'll update that here just in a minute. I don't really see how we're supposed to beat three really good Planeswalkers still, but... Yeah, I'm, I mean, we don't, we don't, like, yes, I could have attacked with the Swordmaster, let it die, and then be able to revive, but we don't really have things to activate with the, the Smitten Swordmaster anyway, and I, you know, we rebought this Order of Midnight. <laughs> Fairness? What a bizarre expression. Anyway. Um, what is it doing? Oh, it's up updating our sub-rolls.
All right, so it's number 11. The land fights for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could have just pumped the knight so that my opponent couldn't steal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was kind of not paying attention, you know, doing other stuff, you know, like with that. But, yes, I could have done that. And then, yeah, they would not have been able to steal. I honestly thought that they were just turning the knight into a 3-3, to be honest. I, I really thought that was the move that they were doing. So I, I didn't actually really recognize that they were stealing it. Hey, what's up, Magic Harry? Thanks for the resub. Well, unfortunately, Gilda Goose and Oko basically make it impossible to drain opponents out, but, you know, we're trying. We're trying over here. So if I draw another Smitten Swordmaster and we play Swordmaster, Order of Midnight, and then Curry Favor to double it up. Your new look is enchanting. Uh, no more doubling up for us. Yeah, I mean they're they're down to 19 minutes. Well, it's probably not gonna take too much longer though to kill us. Hey, Invictus. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. We didn't see any, you know, we we didn't draw any uh, midnight murderous riders, which obviously. We really need Murderous Rider to deal with these Planeswalkers. But I got four Noxious Grasps in the sideboard. Also. Stay on the trail. <laughs> yeah, I, d I did not put any Elder Spells in my sideboard, though. I was hoping that four, <clears throat> four Murderous Rider and then four Noxious Grass would be enough.
I am pretty surprised we're still playing. Pretty surprised we're not dead yet. I mean, it seems like we should be dead. Oh, yeah. That's the second Casualties of War they cast. Oh, yeah. I forgot them casting that Casualties of War earlier and wrecking me with that earlier. Is my opponent, is my opponent finally going to kill us? All right, finally killed us. Drillbit really doesn't seem so bad against a deck that's, you know, filled with Planeswalkers, Casualties of War, Krasis. Like, those are all just cards that are so impactful that are just worth way more than one card. The problem, of course, with playing all those is, like, you know, how, how do we cut enough cards? Um... Ugh. Icon of Ancestry was pretty good until Oko turned it into a 3-3. Kind of the same thing with Lucky Clover. Can I just, like, get rid of Lucky Clover and Icon? That's probably not what I want to do. Maybe I'm supposed to get rid of Icon if we're bringing all these spells, though. Yeah, Icon Paragon. That's that's those were the two that I was kind of looking at too. Icon Paragon. Nothing real special about this hand. Am I just going to curve out and play the Order of Midnight as a 2 2? I would like my opponent to play a Goose here on turn one. I want them to play turn one Goose for me to Legion's End on two. That's what I want to happen. Yep, this is a, Yep, we got an aggressive Black Knight deck. Yep. Uh, no goose. <clears throat> Would not have been a, a bad spot for a drill bit. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Welcome. You missed a really sweet league with um, the Affinity deck that we played earlier. That deck was a lot of fun to play.
I want to be able to kill this paradise druid, but we can't. Like with these things. At least we get to draw a card with Midnight Reaper with that. Our 22 land deck. Good swift end here. Real good swift end there. Should have this game now. We'll see. Yeah, they got that's an expensive hand over there. So it's looking good. The problem with putting you like it. It looks nice when you get to play all those cards, but sometimes you don't get to play all those cards. I have not built any Elder Spell Bolas decks with the new set. Try to go for an Elder Spell combo deck. I've, I've not built anything with that. No, I meant. All right, going to game three. Going to game three. This card's just better than Swamp. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this that was some rough hands right there. Four color walkers. Yeah, definitely with Especially with Fires of Invention. Um, you know, Fires, you know, that can make that definitely viable. We have Turn 1 Goose this time. I wanted them to have Turn 1 Goose last time. Not this time. Just, we gotta hope they just don't have Oko. Please don't have Oko to kill my Clover. Alright, good night, Storm. See you tomorrow. Yeah. That also kills Clover, though. Go ahead, you. Don't flatter yourself.
I mean, drill bit taking Krasis was is definitely good, you know, because Krasis is just worth a whole lot of cards. So that's a really good one for one trade for us. But I mean, we're end of the day, we're still at four cards over here. How are they not getting any swamps? I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Surely you must be famished. It's pretty surprising they just didn't get I mean I guess they have, okay so they have a swamp in hand so like maybe they just have the one swamp in their deck that that could be that that's got to be it gaze into my face and put on your true shape all right well if we can draw another murderous rider to kill this oko okay we're still in there it's not fair Take five here, go to eight. Play Murderous Rider, take another three, go to five. Like we need our opponent to draw lands for like the next like three turns. Just draw land for the next three turns, please. Just give us some time. <laughs> Saying what do you want to draw never works for you. It hardly ever works for me either, but sometimes it does. Unfortunately, Order of Midnight just can't block. If I could play Noxious Grasp and Murderous Rider, both. But if I just Noxious Grasp this Krasis, which is the best play, like to what end? Like we go to nine, this attacks us down to four. There's, like we're just gonna move on to the next game. Like there's nothing that's gonna help with that. I mean, if we have a seven card hand, maybe we could win that. You know, if we had <clears throat> another land, like one more land and a couple more spells, maybe we could have gotten there. Uh, that was rough, though. Four cards. I haven't mulled a four in a long time with. The London Mulligan. <laughs> Alright, at least we're on six cards this time. And looks like the opponent's on six as well. So we're playing straight up. I'm going to Divination here with Foul Mire Knight next turn. Hmm. And this is why we got Cryptic Caves in the deck. Because if our 22 land deck decides to flood out...
Not a bad draw. I'm keeping the three mana here to be able to activate Knight in case of Gates of Blaze. They have four gates. So gate yeah, Gates of Blaze does four. Doesn't kill Knight. And now they're dead. And that was a pretty good draw. Sweeper doesn't even kill the one drop. One drop's too big for the sweeper. So let's play drill bits over, over the two legions ends and then two icons. Icon can be nice though if it's you know a longer game. And relying on my Death Touch Knights against their big creatures, you know, if they have um, if they have a ram. Oh yeah, I don't I don't care too much about that the eight eight that comes back. We're just trying gonna try to go like that. That card's not too important. We don't need to play Ashiok for that thing. It's not, as you saw, like with that game, that's not really what the game's about. If if the game gets to the point where, like, where that 8 8's killing me and coming back a lot, then I, I lost the game, kind of thing. No land. I don't know. I don't know exactly what my opponent wants to do with Karn. Uh, the drill bit bug worked. Yeah, so yeah, they can turn... Yeah, they can turn the clover into a creature and then yeah, board wipe the board wipe the clover. Or like yeah, they can turn clo clover into a creature. Spyglass. Spyglasses for nine to the Evan Legion.
So if I if I murderous rider kill the Karn, <clears throat> the murderous rider goes to the graveyard because of the lucky clover. There's not like two targets. Right. I need to start just getting murderous riders in play for like this smitten sword master. Say hello to my little friend. I will return. I don't, I don't imagine them having too many untapped red sources anyway. All right, two and two. All right, so it's a good good showing there. Um, our affinity deck took a, a long time. It's already nine o'clock, and so we're gonna be going over time anyway with our henge deck. But we'll go ahead and and end this here at two and two. Usually, I play either four or five matches. I try to do that with the ranked decks. Um, and so, you know, two and two, not not too bad. Uh, our two wins were both kind of like some weird decks that didn't put up too much resistance, to be honest. And like the two um, better, more uh, more meta decks are what we lost to. Um, I think this deck has has a whole lot going for it, though. You know, like obviously that that one loss that we had, like that's the other thing is our, our losses were were kind of plagued with some some bad luck. You know, like our one loss we had. We had to mold a four game three. Like, like you know, like who's really winning a game three when they mold a four? Like our our hands were were one land and then zero land, zero land. Um, you know, so we we didn't even see two lands until four cards. So, you know, like what are we really doing with that? There's a lot of power with this deck. We saw with Sm Sm Smitten uh, Swordmaster and Lucky Clover. A lot of power. Um, didn't get to do too much Icon of Ancestry stuff there, but I I like the card still. Like. I think this deck could work out pretty well. You know, it needs needs some more games under its belt and everything, but this is a, a pretty nice version. And if you want if you want to play like a night deck that's a little cheaper, you know, like this is as far as like budget decks, so we we've, we've been talking about like budget decks are kind of tough. Like you have a, a really budget mana base, you can you can take out castles. Um if you're you know if you're looking for a, a budget deck, you can you can take out castles and just play swamps and like four crypt just play like four cryptic caves and then the rest swamps um and icon of ancestry could could be replaced also um as far as like what to replace icon like if you if you want to make a budget i would probably just play um like a third a third legion's end in the main maybe or just and just play like some drill bits in the main like honestly drill bits are just good against everybody it's like maybe even four drill bit main deck you know, so if you want to make this more budget, you could just have all four drill bits. Just take out icon, just put in drill bits there. Um, and uh, and then your sideboard, you have four slots for just kind of whatever whatever you have, whatever you want. If you want to play like extra duresses, if you have um, any like grind cards that you want to play, like one option is Davriel, um, you know, which isn't uncommon kind of thing yeah Cit 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 citadel is just kind of too high of a cmc but this you could definitely turn this into more of a budget deck you know like that's seven rares you could take out of the the deck the seven rares the the three castles and the four icons um and still have a pretty good deck so here i'll, I'll show you like what what you could like maybe you just want like i honestly i'd probably just play all the deck the drill bits main Maybe like three drill bit, one Davriel, and just gets a couple extra Davriels in the sideboard. Um, there we go. So that that could be a, a budget version if you're looking for like a. <clears throat> a budget version um you know and 
gives you it gives you like let's see f four eight eleven like sixteen twenty twenty four so it's still twenty four rares but the thing is is like these rares you know like in in the whole deck there's still twenty four rares but like those are rares that are used throughout a lot of decks the black lance paragon is like the next rare that you could maybe you could maybe replace but the other 20 you'd want to keep you know you probably want to have knight of the ebon legions legions ends like murderous rider like these are these are rares you know knight of the ebon legion legions End, murderous rider midnight reaper those are those are four rares that are used kind of everywhere um it's like those 16 um probably want to craft but and you know black lance paragon makes the deck better but if you want to get rid of it you can also um but yeah so that, that's a way to make a budget and then you know you don't have to worry about like your your mana base and stuff too much pretty easy there uh yeah yeah there's you can definitely splash colors red white um there's different reasons to, to splash both um yeah either either way you could definitely make this a a rakdos deck of course golgari has like the the green adventure one drop a lot of people are playing that right now um so yeah you can make that golgari uh also or um or rakdos or orzov so if you if you like any of those color combinations feel free to change it like that as well but there we go so that's mono black knights not a bad showing uh looks you know has has a good late game for being an aggressive deck all right uh and like i like smitten sword, like smitten sword masters is really powerful against um against a deck that just wants to make like a bunch of two twos and just play defense you know like if they're not really killing if other people aren't really killing your creatures you can kind of you know go wide and sword master <clears throat> yeah you could have yeah if you're going red you could play fervent champion and the black red two drop yep those are those are some good ones all right so please hit the like and subscribe button if you're watching on youtube and also leave some comments let me know what you think of the deck uh you know, like if you try out the mono black version, like the, the regular version, let me know how it goes for you. And also, if you like this this budget version, um, if you know, if this works for you, if you're looking for a budget deck and everything like that, um, maybe I'll I'll save this list and put it up on Stream Decker also um, to be and be able to post it on there for you. But uh, thank you so much for watching some mono black nights and I'll see you for the next video.